Just hours after the announcement, a rally was held outside police headquarters. 24 Hour News 8's V Win is live there now with more on that rally. V. Dave, people in the community came out here tonight to show their support for Aaron Bailey's family. It has been a long past couple of months for family and friends without any answers as to why and what happened until now. You could hear the chants loud and clear outside the Indianapolis City County building. If we don't get no justice, y'all don't get no peace. If we don't get no justice, y'all don't get no peace. A small group spoke up about their frustrations and concerns after the special prosecutor decided not to file any criminal charges against the two IMPD officers involved, Michael Dinson and Carlton Howard. As we waited a long time, and we're still waiting for justice for Aaron Bailey. And that day will never come. People wrote messages all over the sidewalk. One man didn't even know the family, but felt compelled to go to the rally. It hit a core when I hear something like this here going on. 50 years later. The deadly shooting happened over the summer in July. It began with a traffic stop and ended with a chase and crash. According to court documents, the officers involved feared for their lives and believed Bailey was reaching for a weapon in the console. Documents show the officers ordered him to show his hands, but instead Bailey turned, and that's when officers began shooting. I'm upset, I'm mad, and I'm tired. It's been four months. Y'all didn't give me an answer at the beginning, and now y'all want to tell me at the end that it's over with. Mm, that's ridiculous to me. I don't understand it. Erica Bailey says her father was shot four times in the back. Today, when they told me that they was going to let them cops go back to work, basically. Jesus. They broke my heart. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Mm -hmm. I can't sleep at night. Mm -hmm. My family can't sleep at night. Now, the family's attorney says right now they do have an active civil claim in civil court against the city and the police department. The police chief will, um, is scheduled to meet with us tomorrow morning to talk about this case. Reporting live from downtown Indianapolis, V. Wynn, 24 Hour News 8. V, thank you. We have more on the story for you now. The FBI released a statement tonight on the decision. It says, in part, FBI Indianapolis's civil rights investigation into the fatal June 2017 shooting of Aaron Bailey by officers of the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department remains open. The FBI will review all available evidence and facts and will conduct additional investigative steps where appropriate. Let's go back to the beginning of the case. In the early morning hours of June 29th, police say Bailey led officers on a chase. They opened fire after the car crashed. July 11th, the FBI announced it was launching a civil rights investigation into the shooting. A few days later, Mayor Joe Hogshead said new training policies would be put in place at IMPD. Then, on July 19th, Bailey's family called for a special prosecutor in the case. One month later, the Marion County prosecutor filed a request to do that. On September 21st, Bailey's family filed a lawsuit against IMPD and the two officers involved. And again today, the special prosecutor announced no charges would be filed. Our coverage continues for you online. There you can read the full report from the special prosecutor. You can also see the full statement from the FBI as well as all of our past stories. Again, that's right now for you at wishtv.com.